Kambalunians, uh, thank you very much for diving into this platform for us to get the things that are happening around the world and how they affect our community. Um, it is an undeniable reality that the outcome of the elections in the United States of America is going to affect the world. It's going to shape or it's going to change the world. Because the United States of America, <laughs> you know, each president comes with his own foreign policy. Even though they have a common guy. But we have seen over the years difference in approach towards particular issues. Uh, we just got information that the United, uh, United States Court dismissed uh, numerous charges against former President Donald Trump. Uh, you know, they were doing everything possible to incriminate him so he will not be able to run again for president. However, it shows that he is eligible to run for presidency. Um, I am saying this, or we are talking about this because it is of great interest for Ambazonians to understand that whatever happens in the United States of America will affect us in one way or the other. In particular, I will cite a couple of instances or a couple of events that have happened. And we have seen some issues around the world. You quite remember that during the era of Donald Trump, we saw a more uh, I'm talking about Ambazonian's case. During the era of Donald Trump, we saw a more human right concern policy towards the Republic, towards the Cameroon's right. We saw how they sanctioned the Republic to Cameroon because of some human right violations in the north of the La Republic to Cameroon. And the same in Southern Cameroon, because the Republic of Cameroon was, they were using some materials that were given to them by the United States of America as uh, aid to fight Boko Haram. They were using it in Southern Cameroon. So they said this one is a no go area. It is not correct, it's not correct, it's not correct. And we saw how they got this sanction. The very first sanction was pulling out of, you know, reducing the number of United Nations, United States uh, military personnel from La Republic to Cameroon that they were su supporting them to fight Boko Haram, also reducing financial and material support on grounds that they violated human rights. We also saw the suspension of La Republic to Cameroon from the African Growth and Opportunity Act. You can call it AGOA by its short acronym. Now, these actions gave La Republic a strong blow because it was already a red flag for them by the Trump administration. When the Biden administration came into place, everything was reversed. Everything was reversed. I also forget that during the Trump administration, some people were deported to like where you come by the same Trump administration. So we are looking at among these two presidents or these two candidates, 
who is more friendly to Ambazonia than the other? In terms of friendly, it depends in which context you want to put it. As for as for Biden, he reinstated La Republic into the African Grand Opportunity Act. Started doing business with La Republic to Cameroon. Even during the Trump era, we saw the issue of Glencore, the Glencore company, which got uh, sanctions. And the Biden administration tried to, you know, overturn everything. They are doing business with La Republic. They are more friendly with La Republic than the Trump administration. My dear comrades, my dear Amazonians, whatever happens in La Republic to Cameroon, whatever happens in the Cameroon, in Southern Cameroon, will also attract the international community. The international community is not one person, it's not a particular person that we say, this is the international community, no. Is made up of several organs, of which the United States of America is part of the international community. We talk about those who can actually put pressure on Paul Bia and his gang members to, to go to the table. It all depends. There are so many people out there who are looking at uh, Donald Trump in another way. Why some others look at uh, President Biden in another way? It's your it's your right. But I want to let our brothers and sisters out there, our dear comrades, to know that anything that happens or the outcome of November this year, right? Because the presidential elections in the United States of America this year. The outcome of those elections will directly affect the Ambazonian struggle. It will directly touch the Ambazonian struggle. So I hope and I wish that we continuously, all of you in the diplomatic circles, those of you in diplomatic committees, groups, advocating, knocking doors for the plight of the people of Southern Cameroon, do not forget that you need to intensify to make sure that pressure is put on Yaoundé because there is no need, there is no need talking about uh, humanitarian aid to our people without actually putting pressure on those who are causing the people this pain, this problem. All what Ambazonians are asking for, or all what Ambazonians are expecting is a simple address of the root cause of this problem. Address the root cause of this problem. Because no matter what they do, they will never stop it. The people's, you, you cannot kill an idea. It's inborn in the people. You can't kill it. So I would like you people to know, my brothers and sisters, that Whatever is the outcome, I'm not telling you that I support this man, I support this man, but I just came here to see what, whatever be the outcome of uh, the presidential election in November this year in Venezuela, America, it is going to affect the Amazonian struggle. So those of you in diplomatic circles, please tighten your belt and don't forget our people are looking up to you. Wherever you go, whichever door you knock, don't always know that our people on ground zero, they are looking up to you. Do it as if the entire nation depends on you. Do it as if no other person can do it. Put in your best and make sure that the plight of our people comes to the limelight. And God willing, we shall be free. Freedom will come. It will come. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you an excellent time. I'll see you again in our next update.